Chef. Welcome to Who's the Master? Chef. Chef. <laughs> we have two great, spectacular men tonight that's going to compete to cook the best meals that I think I've ever had in my life. We have Chef Lindrick and Chef Joe Willie. So I'm excited to get this competition started. Let's get it cracking. Let's go. Going down, Chef Lindrick, talking to you right now. About to get in the kitchen, hit you up with a little bit of uh, some some glazed carrots, some uh, some potato, roasted potato peppers, and a little chicken chicken breast that stuffed with some goat cheese and rosemary. What it do, man? It's your boy Chef Joe Willie sitting here, about to give you some of my special chicken legs you had to dig. About to put a little mix on them, give you a couple different sauces, you understand? So sit back, relax, about to sit you, give you that little side salad with it, and you're gonna sit back and enjoy. Hi, I'm Dominique, and I'm looking for flavor, texture, and consistency. Hi, I'm Brenda. I'm food blogger, just making sure that I want to have feel passion behind the food. Now it's time to find out who's the master chef. Now the most important thing for any chef is timing and preparation. Chef Lindrick is dicing up the carrots. I'm gonna get you with the nice little appetizers I got. I call them chicken pieces with a nice little flavor to twist. I fry those and those is gonna be lovely. Y'all watch out, y'all get ready to eat something. Bye. Nicely chopped, taking his time. He's also using pepper, I believe. You always gotta add pepper to make sure the chicken is seasoned right. And he's just using his natural ability, uh, marinating the chicken. Chef Lindrick is now uh, prepping his protein. He's using different techniques in order to prep that. Chef Joe Willie using the uh, Valentino hot sauce. You know, growing up in a, a different type of family environment, I've, I'm used to seeing this, this uh, natural method in marinating your chicken. Use a bag, a grocery bag, whatever you got to use to marinate the chicken. Judges, what do you think so far about what you're seeing? I've seen a lot of technique. Um, passion. Passion is good. You know, I'm all about the passion. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how, what, how, how it all comes together. Joe Willie is doing the Japanese style chop, 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 chop. Chef Joe Willie has some uh, carrots there. He's, uh, He's shaking. shredding. Wow. He's doing some extra stuff with the cucumbers. Chef Joe Willie. As he's seasoning his chicken. I got the carrots on the stove. It's going down. I'm getting a nice glaze on them. Got the chicken in the oven and stuff with that rosemary and the goat cheese. Man, I can taste it already. It's going to be bomb. Beautiful, beautiful chicken by Chef Lindrick. Looks amazing. Both chefs going at it at this point. We're almost to the finish line. Everything's almost about to be done. Oh man, right now on the stove, I got those chickens marinating in that hot sauce. I got my chicken pieces on the stove, frying up something nice, and the chef salad's almost ready. Getting the finishing touches of his deep fried chicken. Looks good. Hopefully it tastes good. Okay. Okay. So Chef Joe Willie's fried chicken is basically done. Chef Lendrick's still on the stove with his last minute touches. His uh, amazing looking potatoes and delicious carrots. Chef Lendrick, What's have good? any words towards the, the last few touches to your meal? Flavor tells it all. Flavor tells it all. Flavor tells it all, you guys. What's going on with you, Chef Joe Willie? sitting here just making sure the salad looks great making sure I get all the beautiful colors in there that I put in my salad you know get the extra tomato right there wow just like that this world-famous Joe Willie chicken 
It's gonna make you say, woo, after you take that bite. Let it breathe. Looks yeah. beautiful, well seasoned. Mm, yeah. Looks very flavorful. Hopefully, it tastes flavorful, Mr. Yeah. Joe Willie. It was going down in place, look nice and lovely. I got my roasted peppers, I got my carrots, I got my chicken. It's nice and stuffed. It just tastes and smells voluptuous. Got the food all plated up. It's looking real good. It's smelling real good. I even had a little taste, and I must say, it's tasting great. Hey guys, so the food has been plated. Now it's time to see who is the master chef. And there goes that hot sauce at the end. It has a little fire, a little kick a little there kick right there at the end. end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right at the end, it's unexpected. But the salad is nice and crisp. It's fresh. I like fresh. fresh ingredients. So, Wanda, what do you think about the two options we have here? Lindrix and Joe Willie's. I like the texture of the chicken bites. Okay. Um, and the salad is just sort of amazing because, I mean, I love salad. And yeah. It's really, really fresh. You can taste all the greens, fresh, which makes a little bit of a difference in a salad. Right. Um, I will say in the chicken and the drumstick here, I when we were watching him in the kitchen, he just seemed like he was... A lot, of a, lot of, a lot of mm -hmm. flavor. And the flavor just doesn't seem as apparent as I expected. Okay. And uh, with Lindrix, how did you feel about that? Just real quick. Um, the smokiness of the potatoes is really good. Mixed with the sweetness of the carrots and the rosemary in the chicken was very pungent. Right. I can mm. definitely agree with the pungent. Mm -hmm. It's very strong. I feel it all over me. If you had a choice... What would that choice be between Chef Lindrick and Chef Joe Willie? If I had to choose, I would say... Who is the master chef? The master chef is Chef Lindrick. Wow. And Randa, and what's your thoughts on that? Um, we, we discussed that. And I think, um, just going back, there was different things I liked about each. Um, sort of the thing that bounced out is that one had more than the other as far as the the seasoning and the taste or whatnot like tastes here were uh, but then when you kind of put it all together it sort of it went right you know so you kind of needed to have like a little taste of that a little taste of that a little taste of this so i'm um, i'm gonna go chef and drink too wow wow well you guys um i like both dishes i love the deep fried however i feel like um chef lindrick did have a lot of flavor but you know what? I'm going to be honest. I am a little on the fence because I feel like Chef Lindrix had a little bit too much rosemary. I just feel it all in my mouth and it's not leaving. And when I taste Joe Willie's, I actually taste it and it, you know, then I, I'm able to taste other things on the plate. So I'm kind of on the fence. Um, so I'm going to say it's a tie for me. But... We do have one other person that can break that whole tiebreaker between the ladies and I. So, Mr. Myers, who is the master chef? I'm going to go with Chef Lindrick. All right. So, there it is, guys. Chef Lindrick. You are the master chef. chef. <laughs> Taste the Valentino sauce? What are they talking about? You see, what happened was they saw me sprinkling that Lowry's on that chicken 
And every black person knows when you see that Lowry's, you already know what to expect. You're expecting that twang. What they failed to realize was uh, that was just a subliminal to get you thinking that, all right, now, this is about to be some good shit. But what you missed out on was that what you were supposed to pay attention to was the Valentino sauce. Okay? This wasn't Lowry's salt chicken. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> this was specially prepared straight from Cancun style. Yes, you're absolutely right. Special hot sauce chicken legs. But anyway, I'm gonna let that slide because you know they're not cultured around here, they don't travel. But you know, believe it at that. Chef Joe Willie, holla at your boy and get him next time. Out. <laughs>